it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally back in my little filming space. I'm not out and about anymore. I'm actually going to be filming a makeup slash skincare related video, not a food video. Uh, if you didn't watch my last video, I filled a mukbang with my two cousins, Karina and Veronica, and it was super fun. It was so funny. Like I, I watched it like 10 times by now. It's like, I love the video. So if you didn't check that out, make sure to go watch it. I will link it, of course, at the end of the video in the end screen. But anyway, today we are back with a skincare video and I'm going to be doing my last Accutane series, the last final video, and it is going to be parts four, no, parts five and six. I am combining them again because it's literally gonna be no different if I film two separate videos. So I figured I would combine them. Nothing has really changed much other than the progress of my skin, obviously it's gotten better. I figured I would film just one video for the two separate parts instead of two different videos because it's just silly to make the same video twice because I would have nothing different to say. Let's just get started, I guess. So I'm on the final month of my Accutane. Thank goodness, hallelujah. I'm so happy to be almost done with it. Um, it's definitely a process, but I'm very happy with my skin and the progress it's made. So you can't, you can't complain too much. You know, obviously it worked, so that's all that matters. Yeah, I feel great. My skin feels great. It looks great. It just feels healthier in general. I've never been this happy with my skin. I've never been this happy be barefaced before like I just walk out don't even think twice about putting on makeup some days I don't even care even I'm going somewhere going shopping whatever running errands I don't even care just don't put on makeup some days I do just you know to feel pretty and not pretty but like just to feel good and you know put myself together a little bit but I don't have to wear it to go out anymore and that's like a huge step for me because like I remember in high school even last year I mean, last year, eh, like, I didn't really care as much, but definitely high school, I would never go out without wearing makeup. So this is definitely a big step for me. My skin just feels amazing. It looks really good, as you can see. Super glowy and just healthier looking in general. Very smooth. And obviously, the scars, they're always going to be there or whatever, but they definitely have lightened up a lot. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, me and my dermatologist are going to discuss not my next appointment but he's gonna see me a month after i stop accutane and we're gonna discuss not a month maybe three different months three months or so but we're gonna discuss a plan for the acne scars i don't know what he's gonna recommend the last time i was on accutane i got uh microneedling done after i was uh, after i went off of it and i got six treatments of that honestly didn't really work too well it was very painful and it really didn't make that big of a difference so I don't think I want to do that again so we'll see what he says there's some different like lasering treatments that are like kind of new that are really good for scars so maybe we'll try that who knows what we're gonna do but for the acne pretty much all gone uh what I, I did notice the other day which was kind of annoying that I didn't wash my face before I went to bed I just wiped off my makeup but I didn't do my whole routine and I like got three breakouts so obviously even though I'm on Accutane I still have to keep up with my skincare routine I cannot not slack off on that because my skin just likes the routine and going off of it just does not it's not happy so yeah I did notice that which is kind of annoying but what are you gonna do what else the dryness has definitely gotten better since it's gotten warmer out uh, my lips aren't as dry they gave me like I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video I don't think I did but they gave me like these oh I wish I brought them down I don't know why I didn't but they're just these like lip things like they come in little packs they gave me a sample size but I will insert like a picture or like the name of it, but it's like this like extreme like lip hydrating cream. It's like very thick. So I put that on uh, at night, like my lips are really bad before I go to bed. So that's definitely been helping, obviously exfoliating, but my lips have gotten a lot better in general. Like I don't have to like constantly keep up on them anymore. My skin, the dryness has really subsided since it got warmer, like I said, and I've just been like moisturizing the crap out of it so it wouldn't. Now that it is warmer and the sun's coming out more, I have to be more careful with the sun because when you're on Accutane you burn very easily and your skin is very sensitive to the sun so I even noticed just like being outside a tiny bit like I get a little bit of sunburn on my face which I'm glad I'll be done with it before summer comes into full swing or else it would just be really bad I just make sure to put on sunscreen I use an SPF moisturizer during the day and also like if I am wearing a little bit of makeup I use stuff with SPF in it so it helps out a little bit I feel like there was something else I needed to say yeah, all the weird symptoms really went away. The only thing I still notice is that I do get like super sleepy at night, which I mentioned before. Just like when it hits like 10 o'clock, like I'm pooped, which is like fine because that's a like, good bedtime. But still like normally before I would kind of like stay up and like hang out and blah, blah, blah. But now it's just like I will fall right asleep like wherever I am. I mean, I am a sleepy person in general, but 
I do notice that with Accutane more. But other than that, yeah, like I said, the symptoms really, it's not bad. Other than like now I'm dealing with like the sunburn type thing. But luckily I'm almost done with it anyway, so I won't have to be worrying about that much longer. I mean, obviously the symptoms kind of, not the symptoms, but it does stay in your system a month after you stop taking it. So I have like a couple more months to deal with that kind of thing. But as long as I keep up with SPF and really make sure to take care of my skin and protect it, it should be okay. Everything should be great. But I figured in this video I would close off my Accutane series with one last updated skincare routine. Um, I really, my skincare routine has stayed pretty consistent, actually very consistent the whole six months I was on it. I did, I think in my first video, I did like my skincare routine type, the products I use, blah, blah, blah. But I was like just starting out with those products, so I really didn't have much of an opinion on them. So now that I have been using it for months and have added little things here and there, I could finally give you a solid Accutane skincare routine. So hopefully this helps you if you guys are on Accutane or if you honestly have a similar skin. I guess skin on Accutane is kind of just like dry, sensitive skin. So if you have dry and sensitive skin, maybe the skincare routine will help you. I wouldn't use it if you're acne prone because even though I'm using Accutane because I had acne, I don't need to use acne products because the Accutane is taking care of that. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. I'm just going to hop right into it, the whole skincare routine shebang type thing. So first things first is this First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Uh, I use this morning and night. I love this stuff. Um, it's just very gentle, does its job, doesn't strip my skin. It takes out all the extra makeup and dirt and stuff like that that I have throughout the day. Like I said, without drying out my skin or making it feel like, you know, just like stripped of natural oils. It's safe for sensitive skin, as you can see. I really like this stuff and I really recommend it if you guys have like dry sensitive skin like I said I just feel like it's super gentle and just very good for everyday use first day beauty it's funny because it actually used to break me out before I started Accutane so we will see what I'll switch to after I'm off Accutane I'll have to like play around with different things um, if I have to jump more into like oil control products because Accutane controls my oil so I'm I'm allowed to like I can get away with using products that don't control oil if that makes any sense so I'll have to see like how my skin will obviously get a little more oilier once I'm off Accutane, so I'll have to play around with different things to see what skincare routine will work the best for me. If you guys are interested in seeing a post Accutane skincare routine, like maybe a couple months on the road, once I figure out what I want to use, then give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. Anyway, so use this morning and night. I love this product. And then morning and night, I mentioned this before, I use the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I love this stuff. I use it morning and night. I don't think I'm going to stop using this, to be honest, after I'm on Accutane because it's just so amazing. I use this kind of like as a hydrating toner type thing. I don't really use a toner because I don't need to because my skin isn't that oily. Maybe once I am off Accutane, I'll try to stick with these products, but add in like witch hazel or a toner to control the oil, like I said. But this stuff I love. I love the one with the lavender just because I feel like it, I don't know, it's very soothing. And if I have any redness, it calms that. If I do have any breakouts, it calms the breakouts and stuff. So really love that aloe. Obviously, you know that soothes breakouts and redness and stuff and chamomile and lavender. They're just very soothing hydrating ingredients so in the morning or after like a long day it just very nice and refreshing to spray on my face and i just i notice like i just have a glow and my tone is very nice when i'm using it so i really love this stuff i do not think i'll stop using this but who knows so if you've never tried this one in particular with the lavender you really need to because it is my favorite over the green one over the pink one like the rose water one this is my favorite so Definitely give this a try. I love that. Lastly, for my everyday daily moisturizer, I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is for normal to dry skin, and it is very lightweight and breathable and not too heavy. I use it morning and night, so obviously it, like it's good enough to use in the morning because it's lightweight, but it's also hydrating enough to use at night. So I really love this stuff, hypoallergenic, gentle, fragrance-free, non-irritating, so perfect for sensitive skin. It does not have any SPF, so I will mix it. I actually didn't bring it down, I don't know why, but I will mix it with the First Aid Beauty Daily Moisturizing Lotion, which does have SPF 30, I think, in it, so I will mix it with this during the day if I'm gonna be outside a lot. I will see again if I continue. I think I used this actually before I was on Accutane, so it doesn't break me out and it didn't break me out beforehand, so I think I will continue using this for sure unless I notice that it does break me out but it's lightweight so I don't see why it would okay the next product is kind of bougie 
but I am in love with it. So this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I mentioned this a couple videos ago, a couple Accutane series videos ago, and I just literally love this stuff so much. I use it, I don't use it every single day, but on the days where I know I'm not gonna be wearing makeup and I just want like a fresh dewy skin look, natural skin look, or if I am wearing makeup and I want my skin to feel really good and hydrated before putting on makeup, I will mix a little bit of this in with my moisturizer and put it on. Um, oh my god, it is so amazing. I have it on right now. So as you can see, it makes my skin look so dewy and hydrated and fresh. I literally love this stuff. I got this in my makeup lap. Look, I got this. <coughs> oh god. I got this in my makeup bag from Mario's class and I am obsessed with it. It's so amazing. It comes with a little spoon, which I had no idea about. Like it slides into the top. I had no idea until my friend pointed it out to me. Brenna, if you're watching this, thank you for showing me that it comes with a spoon. Their skincare products are so luxurious and amazing and they are definitely expensive. I obviously got this one for free. I will be repurchasing it because I really love it. I don't know where I would be without it, honestly. All right, next. Oh, uh, well, I just use this one, the Tatcha, during the day, like I said. I don't use it at night because there's no point. But next, uh, at night, if I need a little extra hydration and just, just some extra TLC for my skin, I will use the... What brand is this? I don't even know. I don't know, but it's the Rada... Radha, Radha, I think it's Radha, rosehip oil. Um, I got this on Amazon, I think, but it comes in like a nice glass jar, so it's like super nice. It's not like weird or anything. Anyway, this is the rosehip oil, and I will mix this in a couple drops with my moisturizer at night. Um, I've noticed that I got it because I heard that it helps with acne scarring, and before when I tried using it before Accutane, it just would break me out, so I would like literally never use it. But now that I'm on it and I don't break out as much, I use it. It comes with a little cute dropper, as you can see. I love it. You see my cat's tail? Yeah, he's sitting on me. He's annoying. Like I said, I will mix two to three drops in with my moisturizer at night, and it prevents against aging, it tones the skin, it says it reduces wrinkles, heals scarring, and improve the skin's moisture levels. It really does all that. I definitely notice it helps with my scarring. Sometimes I'll just even do like a little drop and just put it right on where my scarring is, just so I, I can just target that area. And I do notice that my scarring has got a lot lighter, as you guys can see. Like, what do you think? I think it's gotten a lot lighter. I mean, there's obviously other things I've been doing in combination with this, but whenever I use this at night and I wake up in my skin, it just looks really good and I can tell that it does make a difference. So I really love this stuff. It's cruelty-free, vegan, and like a nice glass jar. So it's really good for the environment. I mean, if you don't think you need a serum, you do. Even when you have oily skin, you need a serum because like, it's just so, your skin needs it, trust me. And you probably have oily skin because you don't moisturize it enough, so. Just letting you know, sent you with the facts. All right, next, I've been using this product more recently and I've just been using it here and there, not every single day or night. This is the Yes To Grapefruit Correct and Prepare Dark Spot Correcting Serum. I've had this for a while, to be honest, but I didn't really use it that often because I think, again, it probably broke me out before I was on Accutane. So now that I'm on Accutane, I'm not breaking out. I've started to apply this to my cheek area, just my cheeks, because that's really where I have the most scarring. So it's just like this thin kind of gel-based product. And after I wash my face, I put like a very light layer on my cheeks, like I said, and a little bit on my chin. And it really makes my skin glow. It helps correct the dark spots and lighten that area. I really do notice a huge difference, this along with the rosehip oil. I kind of like interchange them. One night I'll use this one and then another I'll use the rosehip oil. So it just all depends on how I'm feeling. If you have dark spots and you are looking into some sort of corrector or serum that you can apply, uh, definitely check out this one. Hopefully, I mean, just cause it broke me out doesn't mean it will break you out. Uh, but it's worth trying and it's not like crazy expensive. The next two products are things that I use if I do notice I'm breaking out. So first, if I do have like a, a little breakout or like a couple little breakouts, um, I use this as my spot treatment. So this is the differing, differing. This is the differing, oh my God. This is the differing gel and it's just a dappling gel acne treatment that's basically it you used to only be able to get this with a prescription but now they sell it over the counter and it honestly really works very well yeah whenever i have a breakout i just put this on and it's usually gone overnight uh, maybe a couple days i'll have to put this on but other than that it gets rid of it very quickly i heard jenna marbles talking about this so i was like oh i gotta try that and it just i got it at target but you can get like any drugstore i'm sure but yeah i really like it it's a really good spot treatment that's all i have to say about that a spot treatment is a spot treatment it gets rid of my acne pretty quickly 
when I do have a little breakout. So love this stuff. You should definitely check it out if you are in the market for a spot treatment. And last but not least for when I have more acne than usual or whatever, I will use this as a face mask. This is the Pacifica Kale Charcoal Ultimate Detox Mask. It has clay, charcoal, kale, and willow herb. Willow herb. What am I, British or something? Willow herb, and it fights. I can't speak. This is why I don't film videos, because I can't speak. It helps fight breakouts, blemishes. What am I saying? It helps fight blemishes, blackheads, and oil. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. And it's for blemish prone and oily skin types even though my skin is drier i still use it because i really love this mask like it is so amazing i had the little packs of it i tried it once i got it from target and literally i was hooked got the big size bottle and i literally love this stuff it's so like i'm telling you even when i used it a lot before i was on octane when i had more acne i would use this my skin would feel amazing it would really help my acne i swear to you like overnight i would not put it on overnight but i would put it on and then overnight it really would work on my skin if you have acne <laughs> you should definitely try this or just a lot of redness i just noticed that it really helps soothe it and just yeah it really helps the blemishes i swear to god so i really love this stuff i pacifica is a really good brand too i i recently got another mask from them just a sample so i just wanted to try it and it's for like rehydrating skin and stuff so i'm gonna try that out soon pacifica is really good for skincare so if you guys are interested in like a more natural skincare line definitely try this out That's it for the updated skincare routine, I guess. So guys, like I said, I'm very happy with the progress of my skin and I'm so super excited to just continue taking care of it. Hopefully it stays like this forever and I just knock on wood. I don't have, here, knock on wood. And hopefully I don't have to deal with nasty, ugly breakouts like I did before. As long as I take care of it and give it what it wants, my skin it responds pretty well. So like I said, I'll have to play around with different things after I'm off Accutane. Obviously, we're going to think about what to do with the scarring. I have to figure out a skincare routine. I have to figure all that out again. They said, my dermatologist said, usually after the second round of Accutane, that's when it really kicks in and starts to work. So hopefully he's right and hopefully I don't have to deal with any crazy breakouts again in my life because... Mm, it's it's annoying it's a process my makeup doesn't look as good just things just things aren't good that is it for i guess accutane series part five and six i'm going to show you my skin and one last little update obviously the scars what can you do about them but looks really good i'm very happy with it i've never been like a clear skin queen so i don't even know what to do with myself right now but that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for keeping up with me and my Accutane journey. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys, like I say in every video. Hopefully gave you some information about Accutane if you're starting it or if you're on it. Hopefully this gave you some ideas about what to use, what products to use, or even if you just have dry sensitive skin, like I said, and you're not on Accutane, hopefully these products can help you too. Uh, thank you again for coming along with my journey. I hope you, hopefully you enjoyed it. And that's it for that. Uh, I will update you guys in a couple months if I do anything for the scars. Maybe if I do get treatments or laser for the scars, then I will document that process. As for now, that is it for my skin. Thank you again. And I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell. And check out my other videos if you're new. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.